Have you ever wondered how plants reproduce its own kind? And how organisms differ in producing their offspring? Let's talk about how organisms reproduce here on Science 101. One of the unique qualities of living organisms is their ability to reproduce an offspring that is called reproduction. Some organisms need two parents to create a new organism while others can make it on their own. These two types of reproduction are called asexual and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the type of reproduction that involves one parent. All prokaryotes and some eukaryotes produce their offspring this way. As a result, their offspring looks the same as them and they have same traits. This kind of reproduction does not require a huge amount of energy since there is no mating needed, but they can produce more offspring at once. Asexual reproduction can be very rapid and can be an advantage to many organisms because they can crowd out other organisms that reproduce more slowly. There are different methods of asexual reproduction that include spore formation, budding, fission, fragmentation and regeneration. Spore formation occurs in non-flowering plants like ferns and other microscopic organisms like protozoa. When a parent plant produces hundreds of tiny spores and releases, it may be carried by the wind and water until it lands on a favorable environment where it forms a new organism. Fission is a mode of asexual reproduction where parent cells are divided into half, forming offspring identical to them. There are two types of fission, binary and multiple fission. Binary fission occurs when a parent cell splits into two identical cells of the same size. Most microscopic organisms undergo binary fission like amoeba and bacteria. Some organisms can reproduce more offspring at once because of multiple fission. Some algae, protozoans and slime molds undergo this process. Budding happens when a parent forms bud, that will eventually be separated to become a new organism. Yeast and corals reproduce by budding method. Fragmentation is a method of asexual reproduction, where new organisms form from a fragment of a parent organism. Sponges and some annelids are capable of this method. Another mode of asexual reproduction where organisms regrow its lost part. Some echinoderms like sea star and amphibians like lizard are capable of this type of method. Sexual reproduction is the type of reproduction that involves two parents. Humans and other animals undergo this type of reproduction. Parents produce reproductive cells called gametes that will unite to form an offspring. Gametes are haploid cells that means they contain half of the number of chromosomes found in other cells. It is produced by a type of cell division called meiosis in the form of sperm, that is produced in the testes of males, an egg that is produces in the ovaries of females. Gametes from male and female will unite under favorable conditions, known as fertilization and form a zygote. A zygote is now diploid because it has twice the number of chromosomes as gametes. There are two types fertilization that happen in animals. External fertilization is the process when the union of gametes happen outside the female body. This happens in many aquatic animals where the eggs and sperm are releases into the water. Internal fertilization on the other hand, happens inside the body of females. Male gametes are released into the female's genital tract, then it will meet the egg and forms zygote. It requires high energy to find a mate and will produce few offspring. Mammals, including humans, reptiles and birds are example of organisms that use this type of fertilization. Internal fertilization has three ways. Oviparity is followed by animals that lay eggs outside and nourishment is provided to the offspring by the presence of the yolk in the egg. Animals that are capable of oviparity are called oviparous like birds and reptiles. Viviparity is followed by mammals, few reptiles and cartilaginous fish. The offspring is developed within the body of a female and receive nourishment through the placenta from the mother's blood. The developed offspring comes out from the mother's body. These animals are called as viviparous. In ovo viviparity, the eggs are retained in the female body, and the nourishment is provided from the yolk present in the egg only to the developing embryo. The egg hatched when young ones are fully developed. Sharks, and other reptiles like lizard and snakes follow this process. Let's wrap it up. Reproduction is the ability of organisms to reproduce an offspring. Asexual and sexual reproduction are the two types of reproduction. 
Asexual reproduction needs one parent and can produce offspring that is identical to the parent. The four methods of asexual reproduction are fission, fragmentation, spore formation, and budding. Sexual reproduction is the type of reproduction that involves two parents. There are two types of fertilization that happen in animals. External fertilization is the process when the union of gametes happen outside the female body. Internal fertilization, on the other hand, happens inside the body of females. External fertilization can be oviparity, viviparity, or ovo viviparity. Watch more videos to learn more in the field of science. See you next week.